My name is Jean Tay and I'm the playwright for the play Senang. I think that you know, part of what I was trying to write was a historical docudrama. For me, the inspiration for Senang actually came while I was researching um, another play that I uh, wrote uh, called Sisters that was based on the myth of Sisters Island. And uh, when I was researching that, I kind of stumbled upon um, the historical riots that took place uh, on Bulau Senang, the prison riots that took place in 1963 there. And I thought it was a fascinating story. And I was wondering why no one had ever, you know, no one talks about it or had ever written about it. There's very, very little literature on it. And yet it's such a dramatic piece and, and a kind of a for, dramatic yet forgotten piece of history. And I just was wondering whether it was intentionally buried or people just, you know, are forgetful. And even this, this piece of, of, of history and this, this piece, this, this particular story could be kind of, you know, forgotten. So I was, I was very fascinated because I think, well, partly because of the gory details, what, you know, what happened on Senang, uh, kind of seemed to be out of almost a, a, a movie, you know, and, and everyone I spoke to and, you know, if I, if I told them about this, this, this riot, they would all be shocked and be like, oh, you know, I never knew that happened. And, and I think that people responded to it and responded to the st story very strongly. And, and I always felt that it would be um, a really interesting play to, to take on. Um, and also for me, because Sisters was an exploration of sisterhood, so I thought it would be really nice to do a, a companion piece, a play about brotherhood. And also, I think more importantly, how what it was to get to the psyche of men, and not just men, but criminals. And not just criminals, but um, you know, secret society members and gangsters from the 1960s. I yeah. think, to me, it, 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 it seemed kind of insurmountable. How do you create realistic, authentic uh, characters? Um, you know, from that period of history, uh, given that I'm so, you know, my own experiences are so different from, from that. It was actually really helpful to think about um, it in terms of adaptation. And when I considered the different possibilities for adaptation, the ones that naturally came to mind were actually the idea of Paradise Lost uh, by, by Milton. And this whole idea, I think the whole biblical idea of um, creating an Eden and then having that Eden lost because of um, humanity's fallenness um, and then at the same time um, taking the idea of brotherhood from um, the Chinese classic the water margin um, I thought would be actually a really nice frame to explore kind of brotherly ties or these you know in interesting characters who are very interesting and individuals in and of themselves but when they come together what happens between them and what do they create how do they create a society and a, a kind of a paradise for themselves on their own i'm hing luan director for uh, senang written by jin Tay. when i first hear the story i without making any quick link i saw its uh, social and political relevance when i direct usually it starts with one simple theme but this theme is so that I can start a conversation with the the theme of people, so uh, the group of people. There were actually many things that are embedded in it, but a simple thing for me is always something that we can perform on stage. Lah. So I work with the idea of promise. So in terms of authenticity, uh, that bit is always a big struggle. Mm, uh, what kind of Chinese? How is that Chinese being spoken? How much of the uh, dialect tone do it uh, to the thing? Uh, I don't think we have sorted it out. Even performatively, uh, not just display, uh, I think across. I don't think Singapore, we have been able to sort out how a Cantonese and a Hokkien and a Teochew would have spoken your English differently. If you listen to both of us, we are more Cantonese. We have not been able to sort out that yet. I'm Oliver, actor for Senang. Something unique for me is uh, this play is based on a real historical incident. This is unique for me. Um, and in regards to my role as actor, um, of course I would like to know more about the real person. Um, how he's like, um, how he even looks like, um, 
but that that that's problematic. That's that's difficult for me because I couldn't find a picture of him. And uh, and uh, all documentations that we have uh, researched and uh, and gathered is is very minimal. One thing that I think I I I have not done well uh, yet for that show is is um, after learning all these different languages, and then how will this person that is from the sixties will speak these languages? For example, the Chinese that uh, we speak nowadays. Uh, it might it might be different and the English because this uh, character that I'm playing speak English mm-hmm. and and according to our records this person speak good English but what is good English then might not be good English now